I'm Jim Carlucci from the Trenton Downtowner, and today we're going to be talking with the mayor of Warren Street, Joe Festa. How are you doing today, Joe? I feel great. I've never felt better. Good. Joe, you've been uh, cutting hair down here for 50 years. Yes. Uh, your longevity has been recognized at uh, Trenton Small Business Week. Uh, the Trenton Council of Civic Associations honored you. This fall, this October, you're going to be one of the honorees at the Trenton chapter of the Mercer County Chamber of Commerce Renaissance Ball. Okay. Um, is it just that you've been here for such a long time, or, or is there something else? What is the secret of your success? Well, the secret of my success is uh, and when I speak to young kids in classrooms, I tell them, if you can find something to do in life, you will never have to go to work. This is basically, I spend more time here than I do home, so why can't I be happy all day long? So, and that's what we do with people. We got a certain clientele in here. Everybody's like family, they're not numbers. So, uh, what I've done with this is, uh, me and Bruce, we have made us. This is our home, really, uh, and it works. And why can't I enjoy the biggest part of my life? But well, we, we have people, they say that people won't come to Trenton. People will come to Trenton if you treat them right and you're good enough. And we have people from all over coming here, and it's, it's quite an honor. We got people drive 40 miles to come here. But again, it's not just about haircuts, you know. It's, uh, what we sell here is sizzle, not steak. <laughs> okay. in, uh, in all these years of cutting hair down here, I guess you've met some interesting and notable people. Yes. Care to name a few? Well, you know, we had a guy come in recently, uh, not too long ago, a couple of years or whatever, uh, uh, Reggie Jackson. Yeah, we had Al Downing come here. Uh, and again, you know, my memory's not that great, but we had all, but, but, the, but when you talk about great people for what it's worth, what our base is, working people. When I think of our customers, you make a working man feel special. Guess what? You got customers for the rest of your life. So you know the way I look at working people, God made a lot of us, we're called working people. And you make a working guy feel special, which we should, because we pay all the bills as far as, we fight the wars and pay the bills, so working people are our main target. So that answers my next question, actually. Do you treat the politicians, the celebrities, any different than, than your regular? Well, you know, guy said I had a half a mind to be a politician. I says I wasn't qualified, but anyway, as far as <laughs> that. Well, what, you were overqualified if you had half a mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But again, politicians and every, you know the nice thing about it, everybody, we got people from the rescue mission, which I, we treat as good as anybody, you know, and it, and it picks their spirits up. And I, and I think that's what life is all about, if you expect to have good spirits yourself, picking somebody else's spirits up. But working people are the backbone in this country. And that's what the shop runs on, basically working people. Trenton's changed a lot since you first started cutting hair down here. Um, what's it like doing business here now versus when you first opened up? But you know, when, when I think of our barber shop, it's never changed. I mean, and thank God we're still doing the business. Uh, and uh, it's the same kind of people. So our, our shop has always been a number one shop. But again, you know, we go the extra mile with people. Uh, we don't treat people like numbers. So that, that's how we operate our business. But it's never changed. It's always, we, we, our hours are great. We're here from six to six. And you know, we shave and facial, we're a real barbershop. Yeah. And well, if you got any problems, we'll solve them too. You will, you will. Um, the hotel around the corner is almost 10 years old. Has that impacted your business? That was one of the big selling points of yeah, building it. Yeah, it, 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 it didn't impact our business that much, but we do get quite a bit of business out of there. We're, we're, we're a household name at the hotel. You know, them guys go back and they, they send another customer, but we get all the business out of there. We get a lot of business out of the hotel. 50 years, a lot of changes in Trenton. We've got a declining population, but you're still doing a good business. We've got a lack of jobs. Yes. We've got more renters than homeowners. What would you do to reverse all of that in the city? Well, you know, I think any organization or any neighborhood is not infiltrated with youth. What I would give this city is, I would give a young person that's responsible to pay rent. And these houses that aren't doing anything, give them, give them a shot at one of these houses. We, we, need a, we need to concentrate on our youth. Our youth that we incarcerate more young people in this country than anybody. Uh, we, we took a YMCA down how many years ago, Jim? Uh, 25, 30. 25 years ago. We never put it back. A YMCA, a YMCA membership is cheaper than a jail sentence. We, we, these young people are starving for role models. Again, I, I would suggest that, that we had a role model page in the paper. These kids got nothing to look forward to. All they want is somebody to talk nice to them. I know, I put up with this every day. We have changed young people's lives with haircuts. Bruce will tell you that. It's, it's beautiful to see these kids. 
They just want somebody to be nice to them. And you know, jails ain't working. If you think about the money we spent on jails, uh, uh, we need more prevention. And that's what's happening here, you know, we, uh, we need help. What we need help. What about the work ethic for the kids? You know, um, they say there's no jobs, they say there's no, uh, there's no, there's no reason to, to, to try to raise themselves up because they're not going to get anywhere. How do you, how do you Well, you know that? what, you know when I look at a child is I think charity begins at home. I think the role model home is not there. If a, I had a kid come in here, he says, what do you do every morning, son? He said, I sleep. Come in here and sleep. I got him two jobs in one week. You got to be looking for work too. It's not going to find you. And you know, you, you start somewhere. If it's two days, three days, and before you know it, our greatest people come out of poverty. There's no, there shouldn't be any, there should be nobody in this country not working. Everybody should have a job. And if you want one bad enough, you'll find it. It will not find you. Uh, is there anything you'd like to express to the people that uh, I haven't asked, you know, we haven't covered yet? Well, again, like I say, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, we're, we're on a street today. We are on one of the best streets in Trenton. Every store is being filled. We have three new businesses coming in. Well, what our, what our, what our neighborhood is all about is teamwork. They need to come here and, and watch this operation on this street. It's helping your neighbor. And, and I find that most of the small businesses, man, they forgot how to help their neighbor. If you help your neighbor, you're promoting your own neighborhood and your own, your own business. So, uh, but that's what, that in a, in a nutshell, we, we got to go back to the drawing board. Got to help each other. And again, you promote another business, you promote yourself. And if it could be bought in Trenton, I'm buying it. <laughs> We've been speaking with Joe Festa at the State Barbershop in downtown Trenton. For the Trenton Downtowner and Community News Service LLC and Kevin Moriarty Sky Dog Media, I'm Jim Carlucci. Thanks for tuning in. Man, that sounds good. Wow. That was. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was good. I thought I was listening. I thought